Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about the keto diet and your pregnancy. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a nurse practitioner and I have over 12 years nursing experience working in mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC. I'm maternal newborn nursing certified and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders as well as perinatal bereavement. The keto diet is one of the most searched diets on the internet and is quickly becoming popular. Keto has been used for the treatment and management of many diseases and has helped many people to successfully lose weight. Let's explore what the keto diet is and whether it is safe for your pregnancy. The keto diet is a carbohydrate or carb limiting diet, also known as the ketogenic diet. With keto, when eating approximately 75% of your calories should come from fats, 15 to 20% from proteins, and the remaining 5 to 10% come from carbohydrates. In the keto diet, it is also recommended to eliminate almost all carbs from your diet, including many whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy that our bodies use. When we run out, our body breaks down fats, turning them into ketones for energy. This produces a state of ketosis and can produce effective weight loss, making the diet very popular. The keto diet has side effects associated with it. Many side effects are short-lived and will go away as your body adjusts to ketosis. These side effects are often referred to as the keto flu, and they include fatigue, nausea, vomiting, dehydration, dizziness, bloating, gassiness, stomach pain, diarrhea, constipation, headaches, bad breath, and muscle cramps. Some of these side effects, especially constipation, bloating, and gassiness, have been known to last longer. The keto diet has been used since the 1920s as an adjunct treatment for epilepsy or seizure disorders. A case study was done in 2017 involving two pregnant women with epilepsy who were practicing a keto diet. The diet showed evidence of treating their epilepsy. The women had healthy full-term pregnancies and delivered healthy babies. Both mothers showed only mild nutritional deficits as well as a slightly elevated cholesterol levels. More research on a larger scale needs to be conducted to determine if these results apply on a larger scale. The keto diet has also been used to manage and treat gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is a dangerous medical condition affecting up to 10% of pregnancies and can lead to many complications including stillbirth. It can also lead to the development of diabetes for both mom and baby later in life. Research has shown that the keto diet can help treat regular diabetes effectively. Given this information, many providers are starting to recommend keto as a potential management tool for gestational diabetes. However, research still needs to be done to determine its effectiveness. Going full-blown keto may not be needed to provide effective management of gestational diabetes. Women may instead benefit from sticking to the keto-approved foods with the addition of some fruits and vegetables providing for an overall low-carb diet. For more information on gestational diabetes during pregnancy, please see our video on this. We will link that in the description below. Now before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about whether the keto diet is safe for pregnancy. Is keto safe for pregnancy? The short answer is that we don't know for sure because there isn't a lot of research. One of the biggest concerns with keto and pregnancy is the nutrient deficiencies that are associated with the keto diet. Keto has been associated with deficiencies in B vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and magnesium. Most people adhering to the keto diet take nutritional supplements to prevent deficiencies. 
Pregnant women have even higher nutrient needs above the regular person, making keto a risky endeavor if not properly supplemented. Most women take a prenatal vitamin daily throughout their pregnancy, which does help. But humans are meant to absorb nutrients from the foods we eat, making it necessary to ingest some of these nutrients through our diet. For the proper development of your baby, you need adequate amounts of vitamin E for healthy muscles and blood, vitamin B12 for healthy spinal cord and nerves, vitamin D for healthy bones and teeth, and folic acid for a healthy spinal cord and the prevention of spina bifida. Some sources of these vitamins must be eaten in limited amounts or eliminated altogether to follow the keto diet, limiting the amount ingested. Another concern is related to keto's goal of burning fat as energy. During the first trimester of pregnancy, the body stores extra fat to be used later on during the pregnancy for energy. Burning that fat off early may have detrimental effects on the later growth and development of the baby. Additionally, the byproduct of the keto diet, ketones, can cross over to the placenta to the baby. Ketosis is a normal part of pregnancy, and ketones cross the placenta regularly to the baby when eating other diets besides keto. It is unclear when there is an abundance of ketones passing through the placenta due to the keto diet, what effects this may have on the baby. Unfortunately, research studies are usually not done with pregnant women due to the potential risks to the developing baby. That limits research to animal studies, which may or may not translate to humans. In 2013, a study was conducted on pregnant mice who were fed the keto diet. The baby mice born in this study were shown to have a larger heart and a smaller brain than typical baby mice. A study conducted in 2015, also on mice, found that pregnant mice fed a keto diet produced offspring that had a higher risk of developing depression and anxiety as adults. Please be aware, single studies can yield a lot of valuable data, but to be determined to be valid, they must be repeated and results replicated, which still needs to be done. Many healthcare providers and dietitians are coming out in favor of a modified keto diet for pregnant women in certain circumstances. People in the keto community often refer to this as dirty keto. The diet adopts many of the keto principles without the intense focus on staying and reaching ketosis. A lower carb diet is safe for pregnancy and the production of ketones is a normal phenomenon during pregnancy. Dirty keto continues to encourage mostly fat in the diet followed by protein and then carbohydrates. However, the ratios change depending on your healthcare provider's advice. Additionally, in order to maintain a low-carb lifestyle, keto encourages the elimination or restriction of many fruits and vegetables. Dirty keto would encourage more of these foods. For example, apples are high in carbs and are not recommended, but berries such as strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries are normally allowed but highly restricted on keto. A pregnant woman practicing dirty keto might allow for a significant amount of these berries in her diet, which would increase her carbohydrate amount, but could also provide important nutrients to her and her baby. Before starting any diet or dietary lifestyle change, you must contact your healthcare provider so they can do a thorough review of your health history and medications to determine what is safe for you and your baby. If you choose to practice keto with your healthcare provider's approval, there are some important points to remember. Drink plenty of water, which supports your pregnancy and general well being. Do not practice intermittent fasting, which is not appropriate for pregnancy. Focus on hunger cues and even some cravings. If your body says you need an apple, you probably do. Keto during pregnancy should not be about weight loss, but instead about proper eating and health. Avoid refined grains, processed sugars, and added sugars. They are not beneficial to your pregnancy. And finally, balance is key. Eating whole foods, even if not keto friendly, is important for a pregnant woman and a healthy baby. The keto diet is a popular option for many people trying to lose weight and treat medical conditions like diabetes. 
With your healthcare provider's approval, a balanced ketogenic diet focusing on whole foods and nutrition versus weight loss may be a healthy option for you and your baby. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at The Maternity Mentor.